the Satanta handicap hurdle is next. Two and a half miles, 0 to 140 this time. Extreme maneuvers, Leon Van Rensburg, Ten Arlo, Darren Thompson, Lost No Friend, and Highland Quest for Martin Lidham, Gabrona, John Morgan, Baby Jane, David Robertson, Moreland's Dimension, James Shea, The Phoenix, Joshua Sutherland, Market Leader, David Robertson, Music World, David Hooley, Big Penny, Craig Beckwith, Arches Rain, Paul Parsons, Rock of Ages, Patrick Hogan, Lord North, Graham Clutterbuck, Shambolic, Paul Parsons, Templar Night for Daniel French, and Ocean of Lecker for Darren Thompson. Away and racing, big feel for this handicap. My two big trainers going away down the handicap as well. And market leader, and one of them is into the early lead as they get to the first of the ten. And one or two slightly iffy jumps there, including down this near side by Josh Wizard as the Phoenix. Uh, probably explains why that one is number eight in a handicap. Maybe it's a chaser, really. Well, it's Highland Quest has pulled his way through the lead now. From Templar Knight and Baby Jane, then Gabrona. They get to the second of the ten. Mistake there was by the grave of Darren Thompson. That's Ten Arlo, I think. Big Penny, the current back marker. Or Craig Beckwith as Baby Jane, Highland Quest, and Templar Knight dispute the lead with Gabrona. Wild on the track in fourth, then Market Leader and Lord North. Morland's dimension is after that one. Extreme Maneuvers is in the middle of the pack. Widest on the track is Loves No Friend. But Baby Jane will lead Highland Quest over Flight 3. With a fall of their Archer's Reign's gone. So Archer's Reign down. As Baby Jane continues to lead. Highland Quest in second and Templar Knight third. It has been a day of hurdle races so far today. I hope we've got the Irish Grand National call up soon. And Great, I'll be taking you through the Scottish Grand National later as well. A couple of really big chases to come. Baby Jane is in the lead. Leading by a length and a half. Highland Quest in second, Templar Knight third. Then the Phoenix and Market Leader, Tenalo and Templar Knight. Lord North and Gabrona after them. Extreme maneuvers down on this near side rail. Get over number five, that's the midway point of the jumping. And Baby Jane continuing to lead. From Highland Quest. And Ten Arlo wide on the track is in third. With the Rock of Ages, the Phoenix and Market Leader. And Lord North after that one, Gabrona. Extreme maneuvers, more than dimension. Templar Knights drop back in the pack a bit and it's alongside. Loves no friend now with Shambolic on the inside. Just the three struggling at the back ocean of Lekka, Big Penny, and not, not surprisingly, Music World as well. But they're into the final mile now, they will be in a second or two as Baby Jane leads them into it from Gabrona and Market Leader. Island Quest on the inside rail with the Phoenix. Ten Arlo is next. Wider is Morland's Dimension in the green jacket. They get to the seventh, and the leader jumped that really well, got away from it well, and probably took a length out of the field in the air. Stable companion, market leaders, moved into second. The Phoenix is third, Highland Quest is fourth, then Gabrona with Templar Knight coming back into it again, then Ten Arlo, Shambolic being driven up the inside rail, trying to get closer. Also, Loves No Friend trying to get into it as well, as they get over the eighth, that's the third last. And over that one, Baby Jane continued to lead from Market Leader and Mauler's Dimension, Templar Knight and the Phoenix. Then comes Gabrona, Lord North now being asked to get into a more challenging position, and Highland Quest has been pushed along to keep his place, Shambolic is trying to run on, Loves No Friend trying to come quite wide, also coming wide is Music World, coming from the back, Ten Arlo's dropped away, and Ocean of Lecker is right out the back, but it's Baby Jane who's in front over the second last, from Mauler's Dimension in second, Market Leader is third, then Lord North and the Phoenix, Templar Knights after that one, then Gabrona and Island Quest, Music World and Shambolic are still trying to run on, Top Weight Extreme Maneuvers is also trying to get into it as they swing for home, two furlongs to go, one more flight to get over, and Baby Jane 
Jane is still too clear of Mourner's dimension. Lord North is third. Coming down towards his final flight then now. And Baby Jane has led all the way. From in second place, Mourner's dimension. Lord North is third. Market leader four. Gabrona is next. Music World is still eating up the ground on the outside. They're coming down towards the final flight. Baby Jane gets over, gets away from well. Mourner's dimension made a mistake. Gabrona's moved into second. But it's Baby Jane who's clear and he's going to take it. Baby Jane wins it comfortably from Gabrona's second. Market leader third. Then Music World temporary. Like Moore's Dimension, Shambolic, Lord North, Ten Arlo, and all the way back to Ocean of Lekka. David Robertson, Baby Jane took it. I think that, but um, David Robertson, the leader of pretty much all the race, I think. It wasn't always Baby Jane. I think Market Leader, I think, um, Market Leader might have had the lead on occasion early on, but anyway, the winner is David Robertson's Baby Jane. Gabrona was second for John Morgan. Third was market leader for David Robinson again and in fourth place well, I think it's David Hooley's Music World wasn't it? It's just disappeared that card. Let's see if I can get it back. Yeah Music World was fourth for David Hooley and Tempranite for Daniel French was fifth.